The things no one tells you about your first funeral. Let's go. When they call to say the tide has finally gone out, you will have a sudden and intimate knowledge of drowning. The whirlpool will own your throat while the waves crash down on the beached whale of your inability to make sense of this storm. When you airplane back to the place you are from, inevitably your flight will be so delayed you will find yourself at the airport bar throwing back your third glass too easily next to a shadow who does not know your name but has no problem cheerfully questioning whether you are traveling for business or pleasure so unsure of how to answer you will stare so long you will not notice the shadow has slipped away later you will sit in a familiar living room, engaged in an awkward weather dance of who is raining the hardest, while the twisted pines of your family tree will stretch their pirate limbs, laying claim to treasures barely freed from the lost one's grip. You will feel sick Come on. and so quiet. When they ask you to write the eulogy, you will curse every pretty word that has ever crossed your lips. Damn your poet heart. Damn them for thinking it was strong enough for this. It will keep you awake for days, balancing the perfect love letter with the perfect goodbye kiss at the church. While the priest is busy monotoning, you might hold an old rosary uncomfortably in your hand, mumbling the words of other people's poems to the tune of a song you have not written yet. And your metronome eyes keeping time between a photograph and the box of a person once been. After the church, in between the fruit punch and the sugar cookies, you will be berated by mouths desperate to word you every last one of their stories. But when they hear this is your first battleground, the inaugural fallen soldier in your line of defense, they will battle talk how lucky you are, making it all the way to 27 years old before being shot for the first time. But it will not feel like luck. It will feel like a rare and incipient form of torture you should have been training for a long time ago. You will fly back home. Your apartment will be just as you left it. You will sign your name with the same signature you always wrote. Eat dinner off the same colorful plates, but in the offbeat. The ones between real life and the things we cannot seem to forget. There will be an emptiness so strangulating. You will pray only for a clean breath. Yes, ma'am.